And so here's the 2 by 2 system of equations. Let's try to solve this algebraically. First of all, um, what I should do is point out that it's not in good form. Um, good form would be to have all of the x terms first and the y terms second. And so the first thing that I notice is that we've got a y term in the front end and an x term as the second term. So let's rearrange equation number 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4.4x minus 3.5y is equal to 1.7. That's my equation 1. And rewriting equation 2 so that it's in good form will tell me that it's a 0.1x uh, plus 0.8y and that's going to equal to 0.8. So that's my equation 2. So now it's in good form. My x terms first and my y term second. And now I think you're ready to use the calculator solver in order to get the correct solution for this equation. But let's see what we would do if we were doing this manually or algebraically. Now one thing that I would like to avoid is maybe the decimals here. So why don't we just um, multiply uh, both sides of the equation by 10 for equation 2. So if I multiply everything by 10 for equation 2, I will essentially move the decimal point over one place and I won't have any decimal places. And I might even do the same thing for equation number 1 as well. Multiply everything through by 10. Um, and then I won't have any decimals. And so what I will end up with is 44x minus 35y is equal to 17. Now that's actually the same equation. It's, I'll call it equation 1. And if I multiply everything by 10 for equation 2, I'll end up with 1x plus 8y is equal to 8. And that's my equation 2. And now you can see it's really easy to come up with the multiples for eliminating one of the variables. In fact, the variable that we should eliminate is perhaps, let's eliminate uh, variable x. And so we'll do that by multiplying everything in equation 2 by negative 44. So we're going to multiply by negative 44, and we'll end up with negative 44x uh, minus negative uh, 44 times 8y is equal to 8 times negative 44. And now you can uh, go through, and I'm going to let you finish the problem from here.